Hey everybody, in GIMP let's talk about canvas size. Let's make a new layer, 1920 by 1080, with the background color of white. And we'll notice that if we go to image, canvas size, our canvas is 1920 by 1080. Okay, well, I have a picture here that is 5376 by 3024, a lot bigger. So let's click and drag that into this new image. Well, did it drag it into the image correctly? Yes, it did. But if you notice and back up, I have this layer selected. It's a lot bigger than my canvas in the middle. When your canvas is set, if I move this particular layer here, you'll see it just moves within the canvas. Even if I take the background layer and delete it, it doesn't matter. The canvas size, image canvas size, is still 1920 by 1080. If I like this picture and I want the canvas to expand to the size of the picture, then I go to Image, Fit Canvas to Layers. That means the canvas is going to expand to the biggest layer you have or combination of layers that you have. Let's drag some images in to make something new. Let's put the burger in. That's the biggest. Then we drag in the middle-sized picture. It fits in. Then we bring in the smallest picture. Well, that's great. Everything fits in the main canvas that was started by this big picture of the American cheeseburger. When you move things around, though, you'll notice that they only exist in the size of your original image that you put in, and that's it. If I move this layer up here and move this layer down there, if I have them selected, you can see the border sticks outside of my canvas. Select this one, the border sticks outside of the canvas, and I do the same operation that we did with the other image, image fit canvas to layers, it will fit the canvas to the combination of whatever layers I had expanded out from the middle of the picture, of the image. Okay, now I just want to crop to the cheeseburger image. If I want the actual canvas not to not be so big and just to crop it to the cheeseburger image, image, auto crop image. That will automatically crop the actual canvas size to the size of the cheeseburger that I have showing up here because the other ones are off. Still there, cropping the canvas like I just did actually crops whatever pieces of these other layers were outside. So now Homer is only this size and the bowl of macaroni is only that size. Cropping it cropped everything. Let's turn off these layers and if I want to expand the canvas Let's say I want to do some work uh, on the side of the cheeseburger or below it, add some text, do something. And I just want to make the canvas bigger. Image, canvas size, and this is the interesting part. You can, of course, just expand it uh, by the height or width. Watch if I, if I click on up arrow of the width, watch what happens down here. Notice the aspect ratio changes because I'm adding all this extra space to the width. If I add space to the height, it will add space to the height as well. And then the offset is wherever I put this. Let's say I want to do all my work on the left side of the cheeseburger and on the top. So I'm going to put the cheeseburger down there, resize, and there we go. Now my canvas is pretty large with the cheeseburger down on the right, like I just like I wanted. And that's basically how canvas works. I'm Anthony, and thanks for watching.